Hi, I'm Lonnie Smith, and you're watching Griswold Eats. Highway 92 and looking for a place to eat, stop by Dusty's. They got great people and even better food. And this is Dusty's. Okay. I like everything on the menu, but I really recommend a ribeye steak, medium rare with a baked potato. Mm. This is the bomb. Going. Yeah. Good done. Done. And just start the food. You walk around pretty wherever you want. Right. Me. We're gonna do an interview with Mr. Brian here that owns the restaurant. Um, can you tell us like the history about Dusty's? So Dusty's place uh, opens about 43 years ago. Uh, my wife and I bought it 18 years ago, as of two days ago. So on May 1st, 18 years ago, we bought it. Um, I worked here through high school, so I started here when I was 13. And I, so I, you know what you're doing. Yep, it's yeah. been fun. I went to culinary art school over at Iowa Western College, and then came back and bought out the restaurant. Um, so that's, uh, why do you call it Dusty's Place? Is that so the old owner, his name was Clifford Carson, and they called him Dusty as his nickname. So he's the one who started it, and it's been called Dusty's ever since. Uh, how many employees do you have here working at Dusty's? So we got about uh, 10, 11 part-time employees and about one or two full-time employees. Um, what's your favorite thing about owning a restaurant? Uh, I like cooking food for people, making them happy and a lot of families come in and eat together. So it's kind of a place where people just get together and share a good meal and have a uh, good family time. Um, what is the hardest thing about running a restaurant? You work a lot of hours when other people are having fun and uh, enjoying their time and stuff. So a lot of time, when you're enjoying time and stuff, it's um, usually when everybody else is not in, having a good time. So Friday and Saturday nights, a lot of people go out on dates, stuff like that. You're here at the restaurant working. Um, what's your favorite dish to get here or to make at Dusty's? And, I'm a, go ahead. And can you tell me more about it, like how you make it? Or, so I'm a steak guy. Uh, I love ribeyes, prime rib, all that good stuff. We only buy uh, Iowa or Nebraska corn fed beef, so uh, we try to support local as much as we can. We buy uh, choice beef, so it's a little bit yeah. better quality. So I like making good steak. If someone comes in, has a great salad bar, potato, and a good steak. They're usually nice and warm. Yeah. They take off, so. Is it just you running or owning the restaurant, or do you have like outside help or other people that help you with it? So I've got uh, my wife and I. Uh, we do some some of the cooking. Um, she cooks a lot of lunches, and then I have a chef that works nights. Um, he's from the Stanton area. He lives in Bliska now, and then my mom helps out. She's been a part of it since day one, so she's been a big time cook for us too. And then, she does a lot of the homemade stuff, the cinnamon rolls, the beef the noodles, stuff like that. We do a lot of catering, some weddings, stuff like that. So um, you have to have a lot of people on hand sometimes. Um, what is like the average price for a meal here at Dusty's, you would say? Uh, cheapest meal um, without kids' meals in there is probably close to $9, $10. Most expensive meal, the ribeye steak, you're getting closer to $25. Um, and why choose to run a restaurant? Like, why did you really want to do it? Yeah. Honestly, um, I love to cook. Yeah. And I always wanted my kids to grow up and go to Griswold School. So we lived in Nebraska before we bought it. And uh, we 
we just had our first kid. She was about one uh, one year old, and so we wanted to get back to the Grizzled area so our kids could have the same schooling and everything that my wife and I had yeah. here at Grizzled. So. And is there anything else you would like to say? No. Uh, support local. Um, everybody that comes in here, uh, we get a lot of land people, a lot of trainer people, people passing through. Uh, but I try to keep a lot of my advertising local, support the school as much as I can, support the athletics, uh, band, whatever it can be. Um, what you have. I, yep, and that, I, that's my love. I love Griswold and um, the people that support me are, are the ones I see out and about all the time here. So appreciate all the school events that go on because a lot of people come in here after. So. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you guys. Now here is the food. I got a cheeseburger with onion rings, and Alex, I got chicken tenders with fries. And now we're going to try it. You ready to take a bite? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Mm. Delicious. That's good. That's pretty good. Like actually. 10 out of 10. Now some onion rings. Onion rings are really like sweet and salty. They're really, they're fried and they're really good. I give this like 10 out of 10, honestly. Really good food. Yeah. Being a uh, customers. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Lonnie Smith. Hello? Hello, nice to meet you. What's your name? Brady Walls. Stephanie Meyer. And uh, why do you guys show, choose to come to Dusty's today? For their wonderful cheeseburgers and fries. Mm -hmm. And is that what you got, I'm guessing? Yes, I got a double cheeseburger and french fries. And what did you get? I got the cheeseburger and french fries. And would you recommend it to people at Griswold? Yes, it or is. People, the people that's watching this? Yes, it is juicy and lots of flavor. And the fries are crispy and are just delicious. All right, thank you guys. This has been Lonnie Smith, Alex Nelson, and Hudson Perkins. And see you next time on Grizzled Eats. This has been Lonnie Smith, Alex Nelson. Being a uh, customers. <laughs> Lonnie, you just got done eating. Stop!